they've been breaking in back doors. Uh, they've kicking in back doors, and um, it's been during the day. People living in Madisonville on guard and on the lookout for the bold thieves snatching whatever they can get their hands on. What police are doing to squash this latest crime spree. It is happening in broad daylight, and these thieves are not shy about their intentions. Police say they're taking extra steps now to put an end to this spree. WLWT News Vice Curtis Fuller is in Madisonville for us tonight with the very latest. Curtis. Well, Sharia and Mike, police say this uptick in crime concerns them, but they also say it is not outside of the so called trend lines they anticipate. Residents and police using traditional and non traditional methods to stay on alert. Just uh, all around great neighborhood. We've had no issues up until now. Tony Lopez and his wife Abby, some of the latest victims hit by thieves. There's been about 12 different homes. Uh, that have been broken into and burglarized. Um, they've been going after televisions and jewelry, uh, just things that of value that they can see and just pick up and take out. We are looking the spree that we've looked at within the last 30 days. And it seems to focus on a, a similar type of, of MO, you know, where it's more backdoor entry, where they're breaking the door, kicking the door, and then taking electronics or you know any money that's laying around. I'm told property crimes in greater Cincinnati and really throughout the country are up. The drug addiction or the drug epidemic comes a big problem to that. In addition to Neighborhood Watch, many residents here are now helping to fight crime online. I downloaded this app, um, my neighbors told me to after we got broken into, and it links all of our neighborhood together. There's so many things that happen in the neighborhood that don't get reported, so it's nice to hear exactly what's going on and to be more informed. Police and those working to change the image of this neighborhood say these latest incidents don't tell the whole story about Madisonville. And we've been tracking crime stats, uh, doing a crime per person analysis over the years. And uh, over the last five years, Madisonville was the 12th safest neighborhood in the city on crime per person. And last year, we were seventh safest. Still, perception is a person's reality, especially if your home was hit. Well, there's probably one going on right now. You know, we have saturation patrol in both uniform and old clothes investigators. Uh, we're trying some of the non-traditional, you know, uh, some of the old-fashioned stuff as well. That you know, the walking patrol. But really, the key is the community. Now, Matt Strauss with the Urban Redevelopment Organization said there's actually been a drop in crime in this area, 25 percent. He said. Now, that app we talked about, it is called the Next Door app, and many communities use that. The motto out here in Madisonville tonight, be aware and be involved. Reporting live, I'm Curtis Fuller, WLWT News 5. All right.